Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Road to the final, team number two came out yesterday. I'm gonna do a little promo market review video for today, just to kind of look at what happened on the market yesterday, what could be happening in the next 24 hours or so with the weekend league going in strong. A lot of people playing games and a lot of the market being a bit unsteady and it feels like the market is very weak today. And I want to talk about that, talk about the player of the month, Sun SBC that caused some panic yesterday before the promo dropped. And then of course, these new cards that are out in packs at the moment, talk about the new content, talk about how that affected the market and what we could see today on Saturday going forward. So again, this is the full team over here on Foothead. This is the full squad of the road to the final set too. So instead of doing two separate teams, what EA did here was they put together another squad of 11 players. And we have some decent players in there, right? Promes is one that a lot of people were looking forward to. That's a very interesting card, gonna be very hyped up. And especially if Ajax can continue in the Champions League and this card gets upgrades, that's a five-star skills, four-star weak foot player. And five-star skills are just very, very meta this year. And we're going to be looking for players that we can like link to that promise because it's going to be hard to get him in teams. So we'll be talking about that as well. But uh, Hazard, Jesus, Draxler, I, I told you guys yesterday, I said, hey, Bundesliga, Dortmund, right? Uh, PSG. Uh, Real Madrid, Manchester City, those guys did not have cards in packs. I know there were some SBCs that came out like for Isco and such, but there were no in packs cards. The only team that didn't get an in packs item was Chelsea. They didn't get a card from Road to the Final that was in packs. They only got the SBC mount, which is interesting to me. But uh, a mix of cards today, decent player selection. I mean, Porto is interesting. A lot of these cards, again, are very, very overpriced. And that's one thing I want to talk about today is just, again, we see it every single week. EA has learned, they've perfected their mastermind at making people spend the coins first day on the new cards by making these cards rare in the first couple hours. And in the first like two to three days, these cards are so, so expensive and they drop off. Now that's nothing like super new, but this year, like people used to not pay the certain price for the card and it would, it would drop down pretty quick within the first couple hours and people are paying crazy prices for these new items. We saw it last week with like uh, the Aubameyang being released on Tuesday. The Rashford was like 1.5 mil. Griezmann was almost a million coins. He's now 500K. And today, the big man that everybody's looking at is this Sissoko card, right? Sissoko rode to the final. We thought we'd never see another 82 rated card in the 900K range after Renato Sanchez of last week. And now we have the Sissoko here. Now, of course, Spurs could go a long way in the cha in the Europa League. And this card could end up uh, being an, a 90 or 91 rated, whatever the calculation would be by the time they win the Europa League final. Um, but that's crazy, right? Like that's a crazy long time away. And in fact, this card's 900K. They're not going to last. All of these cards right now, the prices that they are at are not going to last. In my opinion, this card as well is somebody who is very, very overpriced at the moment. I think Promes, who is extinct at 300 something K today, is now in the 330 range. Yes, he could go up a little bit tonight, but I think this card ultimately crashes and drops down as we head out of the weekend league. Uh, and a lot of these cards, I don't think there's a single card in the new team that is gonna really rise up a bunch. Um, in terms of like today and into Sunday. I think all these cards are priced correctly or they're overpriced. Um, this Bibu card is a very interesting one. Am I expecting any of these cards to rise up in this? Maybe a couple of them, right? Maybe this Bibu card a little bit. He rose up from 120 to 170 already today. Now he's back down in the 120, 130 range. So I'm kind of watching this card closely for a possible rebound, possibly poor two. Other cards have already rebounded, so just be careful with those if you're trying to do some risky flips tonight. Uh, Portu is looking kind of like a decent flip, uh, unless the market's glitched right here. Is there more than one page here, or is this all the Portus listed at 240? Ah, see, there's a full page in the 230 range. So I'm kind of interested in this card. If I saw him in the 220s, I would be interested because I think that position, of course, the right wing in La Liga is a bit rare. So that's why I'm slightly interested in this card. Looks decent. Um, and people used his gold card earlier on this year. But apart from the player selection and apart from the content that we had today, uh, the market is a bit unsteady. And I want to talk about why I think the market's unsteady. I think it revolves around two things. Number one, this SBC actually caused a decent amount of panic on the market today. 500 
and 50k plus for this young min son player of the month SBC item which i am probably going to be completing myself for pure emotion purposes only i'm going to get on the trading grind a little bit harder this week um and try to really grind the coins to get up to maybe help me pay for the sun card so i'm not really just spending too much out of my pocket because uh this is an emotional attachment for me is it worth it in my opinion it's not really worth it it's a 500,050 coin sbc and this guy's gold card today dropped from about 130 down to 110. Maybe it's back up to 120. Um, but I'm just doing this basically because of the emotion and because it's a player of the month son. Is that really worth it though? No. But that caused fodder to go up today because this is the type of SBC card. And with this Alexandro coming out as well, two solid value SBCs. Not crazy good value, but good enough value and just enough hype with the players and with the, the links that these players can get that it did cause some SBC fodder to go up today. Some of that stuff did rise. And that kind of also puts the market into sort of a swing where people are focused on the SBCs, they're spending coins, especially people are still doing that UCL league SBC with the nine squads or whatever uh, the, to get you all those packs. And that's draining a lot of coins off the market because UCL rares were expensive for that. People are paying 200,000 coins for that league SBC, which is atrocious when you realize that a lot of the packs back are untradeable. And as the second thing that I mentioned before, as we are headed into Black Friday, you're seeing a lot of cards at the moment right now that didn't rebound today. What we saw was a lot of panic in the morning on Friday, right? This Di Maria was somebody a lot of people were looking at. He was like in the 430,000 coin range. He dropped down to the low 400s and he's still there. He's actually about to go under 400K. A lot of cards are still dropping. And I think this is really what we're down to now is people are using their cheaper teams. They're not um, going out and buying these cards for the weekend league because they know Black Friday is on the horizon. And this was kind of what I was thinking was going to happen. Uh, I didn't think that there wasn't going to be a bounce back on Friday night because there really wasn't that much of a bounce back for some cards on Friday night. This Varan card, a lot of stuff from Friday um, dropped a little bit in the morning, maybe rebounded a little bit in the afternoon. Some cards rebounded a little bit, um, but most cards are just kind of staying around their same margin and they're actually... What that shows me is nobody's buying those cards. And when everybody starts selling them this weekend, today on Saturday night and into Sunday, you're going to see prices drop a lot today on Saturday and Sunday. That's what I think, because there's really not going to be any demand for people to buy because people aren't going to be buying teams when the cards get low. Um, maybe some out of packs cards they will, but a lot of these golds, they're just a, a lot of people have it in their minds since Black Friday is coming. There's more selling that's going to come. These guys are going to get supplied and their prices are going to be dropping. So that's why people are going to be selling cards this weekend. Even your top tier guys like Mbappe, right? Mbappe was 1-5 last weekend. I think he was even 1-5 earlier today. Right now he's in the 1-4 one, one low ranges. I would not be surprised if this card dips under the 1-4s even today on Saturday. Even in like 1-3-7, one, 1-3-8, three, one, three, maybe in the 1-3-5 range. I don't think that's anywhere out of the question. I think we are due and it's going to happen. I think we're in for a pretty nice sell-off today on the market um, because again of that, those SBCs that have come out that people want to do and just that fear and that aura that Black Friday is really near. And this is the weekend. I think a lot of people were choosing to sell their cards off and some of them even did it before weekend league. So just be careful with that stuff today. If you have cards in your team, that you do not want to have any longer in terms of not necessarily an investment, but cards that you want to cash out and try to snag cheaper uh, later this um, this week with Black Friday. That might be something, whether it's an icon, whether it's a rule breakers card. Uh, again, I looked at, um, we looked at Di Maria, but uh, some, of the, some of these informs as well, people are like, yo, I bought this card for cheap. Is it going to rise back up? Like Alan St. Maximin is right now, I think like 360 or something like that. Um, and, and there was panic. There was some panic this morning on some of these cards. Uh, right around the time when the Sun SBC dropped, what you saw was uh, a bit of a dip and then stuff rebounded back up a little bit into the content drop. Like this same Maximin was 350,000 coins this morning uh, or yesterday morning during the whole Hyunmin Sun being released time frame. And then he rebounded back up to 370, uh, 375 actually. But now he's kind of starting to come back down again and he's about to get a little bit cheaper uh, as more people are starting to sell off. So 
Am I overnight flipping anything? Now, some cards like these new Road to the Finals, if there's anything that's gonna rise up into Saturday a little bit, I would expect it to be a really, really meta inform or a hyped up card, maybe like a Renato Sanchez who's down a little bit. That's just an example, not actually gonna happen, just an example, but I think that some of these cards will still fluctuate a bit. This Jesus went from about in the low 900s all the way back up to almost a mil. He's almost back down in the 900s again. Again, I already mentioned a Bibu. Poor two was 250, 260 at one point. Um, Sissoko, again, is an, a very interesting thing. And just this just leads into my point again at how willing people are to, to pay absurdly crazy prices for these new cards. This guy was 850,000 coins on the PlayStation earlier Friday night and went back up all the way to 950. So went up 100,000 coins. And right now he's in a 900K range. So. A lot of this stuff, I would expect to fall off more as we go into Saturday. Of course, these guys are going to get packed more. There's going to be more people opening packs and people finishing their weekend league, selling these cards off. But what I also would expect is some of them to jump around, especially this Bibu card. I mean, especially since he's a very cheap item down here to 130,000 coins. It's, it doesn't take a lot for you know a decent amount of people in this game that are running Bundesliga teams to want to try this guy out at striker and his price could easily go from 130 to 140 maybe even to 150 now i'm checking his supply right now and at 140,000 coins he has got th three pages of supply with some overnights in there so that's not a lot of supply for an 80 rated card that a lot of people would just willingly go out and even pick up as a super sub for a couple games um like i'm kind of watching this card as, as a quick flip. I'm trying to get him in the low 120s if I can. Um, but for the rest of the team, Hakimi is already up. Koulibaly is already up. Um, Kessie has gone from 200K up to 215. So honestly, boys, what I'm thinking today is it's just going to be a lot of downturn. It's going to be a lot of downturn, a lot of stuff being sold off. So what I would say is you might be better off just dishing out some of your cards if you don't if you don't need the coins and you're fine holding with stuff, then you can hold. But if you're scared about losing coins, uh, which I think is going to be a lot of people today on the market, then maybe you dish out sooner rather than later because it just doesn't feel like anybody wants to buy. It doesn't feel like anybody wants to buy right now. And that is dangerous because that just means when there's nobody buying, people are going to keep undercutting. People are going to keep selling. And that's a risky, risky market to trade in. Now, today on Saturday, if you see a lot of undercuts, right? One card set that I would look at if you're looking for rare items to trade with, is I would look at these Rule Breaker cards, especially a guy like Rule Breaker Kane, if you're on more of a high budget, right? This guy went from 1.2 mil flat today. He rebounded to 135 and was selling in the high 13s. He's still at the high 13 range right now because of that Sun Player of the Month that came out. This card is very rare. And when these cards, when these really, really rare promo cards get panic listed and they get panic sold, what you have is, you have an opportunity, it's it's hard to read, right? But you can watch these cards and you'll know, like, hey, you just watch the supply. If you're on the market a lot, you'll have a sense that, hey, these cards have just gotten too low. How much more can they really drop? And what you'll see is they fluctuate a lot with the panic selling because they're rare, right? You don't need many people to want to buy these, but, you know, let's say this Royce right now is 460. Let's say tomorrow morning you wake up and he's 420, right? He's dropped down 40,000 coins. And this Royce card has not been 420K since he was basically in packs two weeks ago. That to me would light, you know, like spark a light in my head and be like, yo, that might be too low. And you might be able to fluctuation trade just kind of like how we do with icons on weekend league sell off. You watch for big undercuts and you can still trade when the market is kind of going down because, you know, people undercut a lot because they're panicking, they're selling, right? Just watch off with some of these, or watch out for some of these cards. Maybe even a Di Maria, right? This guy was 430. This guy was 430,000 coins. And right now he is dipping under uh, 400K. He's right now 400,000 coins. And there's a whole half a page here with them. And look at all these ones. They have hunters on them, some open bids here as well. That just means people are selling them because they're done for the weekend league or whatever. So if you want to get risky with it today, look at some of these rule breaker cards, maybe some of the very overpowered and um, popular team of the week items as well, like a Renato Sanchez, Gucci headband, uh, St. Maximin, maybe a Ramos, maybe a Firmino, just keep an, or a Walker center back. Just keep your eyes on some of those because in those big dips, what you can see oftentimes is um, 
the, the dips are too big and these cards are really rare. People still want to use them. So you might be able to trade with some of those flips. We're, look at icons as well. That'll be a great other place to look this weekend. People still buy icons because it just, it goes deeper than a um, player that is playing for their favorite team in real life. These guys bring back so many memories for a lot of people. And that's why icons are always fun to trade with because they just hit different, I guess you could say, sometimes on this game. So just keep an eye on some of these, like this kind of all for 552. Is that actually a deal? Uh, I'm going to take a check here. Maybe I can snag a little Cannavaro on bid. And if I could sell this at like high 600s or high 500s, this might be a flip situation. He was 570 earlier today. It looks like he's kind of 600 right now. There's 30K of tax there. If I could snag this, let's go 553 and we're going to bid with eight seconds left. If I can win this Cannavaro, I think that I'll be able to sell this in the at least 590 to 600 range and that would be that'd be a nice little bit of profit if i sold a 600k i'll take a nice little 20k flip there on a kind of if i get that so that's the kind of stuff that you might be able to find today open bids as well on a market where a lot of people are panic selling um instead of snipes where there might be more competition a lot of people might be listening for open bids as well so we'll see if i get this kind of i'm not going to sit here and wait on it because it is uh continually going down but last thing i do want to check though is i want to mention this objective uh, and maybe I'll see my coins go back up in a second. I'll try to get that kind of RO. But this Correa objective card is very easy. If you're somebody who's got a little bit of time, I would grind this, right? It only takes you, I think, six games. Um, you have to win four matches in the live foot friendly mode. And it doesn't take you that many games to complete the other challenges. Lazio should go through. And that's a solid looking card in my opinion. So keep your eye out on something like that. That could be a possible um, SPC that you would be or objective that you'd be very well off completing uh, in the days uh, of right now. I'm gonna go 560 and call it a day on this. If he wants to, if he wants to outbid me, he can, because I'm gonna try to flip that at 600 and make a little quick flip out of it. So if you guys enjoyed this video today, drop a thumbs up on it uh, down below in the comments. If you have any questions, drop those down there, and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new. That's the promo market review for uh, almost said rule breakers. Road to the final set number two. All right, boys, it's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.